Hey everybody, I'm doing my own tutorial here on the Isheen E11. I'm going to put the pads on so I can do the um, ST-Link V2 so that I can get Acro firmware on my little E11. Uh, just stay tuned. Onion rings. On the E11, got a nice little handy thing, this is my writing. Um, it's terrible, but basically you have three pads that you have to mount um, so you can connect your ST link. The three pads, here we go with focusing issues, you need, oh, it's upside down. You need CLK, DAT, and GND. They're in the center. When it's mounted, they're on the bottom so you can't see them. And uh, So anyway, you have to take it off. It's basically just two screws. Fortunately, the E11 has um, plug and play, so you got little connectors there. But two screws takes it off. So we're just going to uh, take some, get some sticky tack here to hold it in place. Uh, for the pins that I'm going to solder on here so that I can connect, I have a spare balance connector for a 3S battery. It's just the piece that you would normally solder into. Um, I don't really need these, but when they, when the, uh, I ordered some balance leads and it came with the connectors as well. I'm just going to take the pins out. Um, it's normally pretty simple. You just pull it really hard and you get a good pin. Um, so I'm getting three of these out. Just whip them right out. Uh, kind of like pulling a tooth. Or kind of like pulling the truth out of a kid. Or other people who shall remain nameless, who never say the truth, even if it hits him in the face. So, I have three pins. And I have, um, just double checking here, pins that can connect. So, nice here, see? Tiny little itty bitty pin, you can barely see it. But that does connect in, and as of now, all I have to do is solder these here, and we'll be good to go. Um, yeah as long as I put the right one in. Fortunately, these are color-coded, so it should be pretty sweet. Um, simple. This is SWDIO. Uh, it's in the very last one. And it is going to CLK, which is this pin on the bottom right corner, or upper left, depending on which way you're looking. The one nearest and to the right to the connector. So, uh, Let's see if I can solder that in. Alright, I think I found the easy way to do this. So, anyway, just solder. A little bit of solder, put a pin in, a little bit of solder. Alright, so yeah, we're doing ground first. Ground's the second. All right, so I got two down, two out of three, ain't bad. Now this is SWCLK, which is my third, going to DAT. See, DAT, SWCLK. SWCLK on here, DAT on here. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna turn this thing off. Clean my little tip here. I had to file my tip down to get something small enough. Um, but there we go. That's about it. A little golden. Alright, so. I know this isn't the prettiest, but it only has to hold for a little while. 
Um, like I said, we have on here, let's turn this around. It's basically SWDIO ground SWCLK. When you look at it, it's the bottom three right pins. So um, let's give you an idea. USB, bottom three right pins. DIO ground CLK goes to uh, ground DAT and CLK. SWCLK for some reason doesn't go to CLK. So who knows? All right. Cool. And I had way more trouble than to do this. So I had like an hour of video just to find which software. Um, it was kind of funny. Uh, Alright, so first thing you need to do, <clears throat> kyle.com, or yeah, www.kyle.com, www that's mdk5 slash legacy. I downloaded on this one, there are two here. You want to go to the left, alright, I downloaded 5.15, and that's based off of a recommendation from someone on YouTube, and that seems to be working so far anyway. I um, also went to <clears throat> Kyle.com, Arm Kyle, download, had to go download, products download, MDK Arm, I had to fill out a lot of information for both of these. Um, you have to register basically and confirm an email, but it's not that big of a deal. And download it. You want to do this ahead of time because it's almost a gig of executables, and it took a long, long time to uh, for me to get get it installed. Um, so my wife's computer it's a little bit slower. Not horrible, but it, it, it took a while. Uh, once you have UVision installed, which is what this arm Kyle is. Um, once you have UVision installed, you'll just go to open, open, and you pick the folder where you downloaded the, um, you unzipped your acro, I'm doing acro only, silverware, going into silverware, make sure you click on project files, silverware project, open, it's going to go here. You'll see it on the left here. You might get a few updates. You just click OK. Then you go Project, Build Target. It's going to run through and you'll get Object Built. Okay, so once you've built this, you're going to go to the ST-Link CLI that you install, or I'm sorry, ST-Link Utility. Just click it. Make sure you have nothing plugged into the USB port. So you're going to click it. You're going to plug in your ST link that's still connected to your thing. Hear the little bump bump so you can tell it was detected. Come in here. At this point, you're plugging in your LiPo. It's going to flash just like normal. And then you hit connect. And you're connected. Once you're connected, you just hit disconnect, uh, target disconnect, close that out. Okay, do that before you go on to this next step. All right, once you close, disconnect your LiPo. So LiPo comes out again, going back into your U-Vision. Pause. Okay. So now you're back in U Vision. It's just funny. Back in U Vision. You're going to plug your LiPo back in. All right. Then you're going to go flash erase. Your light will stop flashing. So my light on my LiPo just stopped flashing. It says full flash chip done. Erase flash finished. Okay. Now you're going to hit flash again. Flash 
and download. It's going to say load. It'll give you the B whoop. You'll see program, a lot of things learned. Flash load finished, application running, and your firmware, your your flight controller is going to go nuts. Okay? Uh yeah, nuts. Very cool. So you make sure application's okay, verify okay, flash load finished. Flight controller goes crazy. You're just going to unplug everything. Just unplug your lipo. Pull out your ST link. Disconnect it all. And that is all we're doing for the computer. Going back to take out the pins, just desolder the pins, and we're going to put everything back together. In one, two, three. We'll finish up here. Plug him back in now. Uh, let's see. Alright, so tabs on the back. That means this is front right. I love that the, there's no soldering for these. Love it. Those are all plugged in. We're ready to go. Slide the battery in. I did not fully charge this battery because I didn't think I'd be done today. Um, one thing about these, they're very like persnickety on which way you slide them in. Uh, and I always put the wrong side in first. And it's like a USB port where no matter what size you plug in first, it's the wrong way. And then you switch it and it's the wrong way. And then you switch it back and it suddenly works. Um, that's kind of how this thing is. It's very tight. Um, it's just they used a bigger battery. All right. Uh, we have LED. We have flashing LED. Whoa! We have... <laughs> that's... Holy crap! That hit the ceiling. Holy cow. I don't know if I can fly this. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see how this works. Hell yeah. Alright, just remember blue light front. Oh, nope. That's backwards. Blue light's backwards. Blue light's back. Blue light's black. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Holy cow. Holy. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, shit. That is so. Oh my god. That is crazy. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, this is obscene. Man, I, part of my problem is I'm using the stock controller, so I can't really find my. But holy cow, it is fast. This is uh, way more fun than I thought it would be. But no level. I got no tricks. Anyway. That's acro mode on the E11 or e, e Sheen E011. Um, seven, seven millimeter motors. 
I, I still only have four blade props right now because I haven't clipped these down. But holy cow, this is so much faster. I'll put all of the software down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching if you stayed this long. And just stay freaking awesome. Thanks.